Welcome back. This is Seven and National News and in our top business story. Russell Kamer is expecting a 16.4% rise in the number of tourists this year to 850,000 up from 730,000 last year and also around 1 million in 2018. That's according to officials. Maytham Amatar, the chief executive of the Ras Al Khaimah Tourism Development Authority, was quoted in a local daily saying that RAC is looking to attract around 60,000 tourists from Europe over the upcoming holiday season through a partnership with two charter flight companies. Sun Express, owned by the German tour operator FTI, could fly 40,000 tourists over to the Emirate, while Poland's Itaca travel agency could transport around 20,000 tourists through charter flights. They added that they have also received a high number of tourists through Air Arabia into Sharjah and Raq, as well as Emirates Airline into Dubai. Britain, Russia and Germany are among the top tourist source markets for RAC and tourism makes up 2.5% of RAC's GDP. RAC also currently boasts 5,000 hotel rooms at 19 hotels with an expected boost of 3,500 by 2019 across 12 hotels. Dubai's sports city has come out as the most viewed real estate location this year on Bayit.com by web users in the UK. The property website revealed that 16.9% of web users in Britain looked at properties in Dubai sports city in the year to August, overtaking the original favourite of the Dubai Marina, which drew in 16.7% this year and 26.1% last year. Downtown Dubai followed, attracting 13.3% of UK views. And then Jumeirah Lake Towers at 12.5%. Haider Khan, Bayard's chief executive, was quoted as saying that 2015 has so far been all about affordability. Although Dubai Marina remains at the number two spot, affordable options such as Dubai Sports City have made their way up the ladder. When looking at views from India, Dubai Marina again was the most popular area, attracting 22.3% of traffic, compared with 25.8% in the previous year, while Business Bay was the second most popular area for Indians, attracting 19.5% of hits, up from 6.1% the previous year. Pay salaries for information technology professionals in the country is ranked 17th in the global paymasters list. According to myhiringclub.com's worldwide IT salary 2015 survey, IT workers registered an average pay of 309,736 dirhams per year, which is the highest in the GCC for these types of professionals. The UAE is followed by Bahrain, which is ranked at 19th place. Q8 comes in at 20th, Qatar at number 21, and Saudi Arabia is ranked 23rd with a pay of 270,769 dirhams per year. Comparing the salary levels across 40 different countries and at 9,413 companies, the survey also reveals that mid-level IT managers are paid the best in Switzerland, followed by Belgium and Denmark in third. Australia tops highest paid IT professionals in the Asia-Pacific region, followed by Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore and then the Republic of Korea in fifth place. Lowest on the list of the worst paid were employees in Bulgaria, followed by Vietnam and Thailand, which averaged at 126,433 dirhams per year. The number of UA-based Indian billionaires on the Forbes rich list of the 100 richest Indians has risen from seven in 2014 to nine this year. Mickey Jagtiani, the founder and owner of Dubai-based retailer The Landmark Group, topped the list of Indian billionaires in the UAE with a fortune of 5.3 billion US dollars. That's up from 5.1 billion last year. And the group also has about 2,000 stores, generating annual revenues of 6 billion US dollars across the Middle East, Africa and India. That's according to Forbes. 
M.A. Yusufali, the managing director of Lulu Group International, follows with a fortune of about 3.7 billion US dollars. Mukesh Ambani, the Mumbai-based chairman and managing director of the petrochemicals oil and gas conglomerate, Reliance Industries topped the overall list with a net worth of 18.9 billion US dollars.